I just want to tell the people out there that Jen's dip is amazing. <laughs> this, is this dip is so good. Okay, I'm here to talk to Chef Robert Despierto, but he's just here to eat. I am. You now that you, I didn't know I was hungry until you made food and gave it to me. You know, I've done a couple of these, and I know when it's events like this, we're here at the Parma Snow Branch. Of what is the, this Cuyahoga, the Parma Snow Branch. We're on Snow Road in Parma. I thought it was Cuyahoga Library. Well, that's the library system, Rocco. Okay, got okay? It. Right. And they're here for an event to talk about his new book, but I know you're schmoozing, you're rubbing elbows, you're talking to people, you're not going to get to eat, so I brought you a little right, snack. So now I'm going to eat. Thank you so much. Thank you for being hospi hospitality to the interview. I appreciate that. No problem. I am that's hospitable, and I, I so that's from that's your new word, book. Hospitable. hospitable. It's okay. I'm the writer. Hospitable. You're the chef. <laughs> and then we're talking about everyday delicious. Everyday delicious. This recipe that I made is from this book. Thank you so much. It's it amazing. The, so I read through it. I and probably just so you know, I probably created this five years ago. Did you really? Yeah. So these, you know, how these things start, right? They start yes. with an idea and a conversation in mm -hmm. a conference room with a publisher in like 1966. Right. <laughs> And then 40 years later, there's a book, you know? <laughs> By the time you publish it, you can't even remember anything you put in it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, all right. What, is this like the 15th, 16th, how many? 15th book. 15th book. Okay. So tell me what was, how did you approach this versus some of the other ones? Interesting. And I asked you with your mouth full. I'm so really because sorry. I am such a serious <laughs> chef, it never occurred to me that I should create a book using uh, everyday recipes and then 2020 happened. I find myself at home, ah. you know, and I'm cooking at home out of cans of beans and, you know, whatever else you can find. normal people yeah, I guess, yeah. cook with, Rocco. Exactly. Washing my own dishes. And, uh, you know, that's a big factor, by the way, <laughs> yeah. when you have to wash your own Boy, dishes. Boy, that's a, so you kind of shifted yes. gears a little bit. That's interesting. Yes, washing your own dishes will make you change the way you cook. Knowing that, that makes it interesting because I saw you really were heavy on leaning on condiments and yes. making those in this specifically punching up a For simple sure. everyday weekday recipe with condiments. What are some of those magic I, I think, uh, things? I think you that can't use too few condiments and flavor bombs and flavor detonators and shortcut foods. There's so many but else. But you don't have so to make good. yourself. You can take, right, you can exactly. buy them. So one of my favorites is Sambal Olek. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the red jar with the ground garlic in it basically mm -hmm. it's garlic and chilies and oil and it's so good and i put it in everything and most people don't even know they have it don't even know what it's called uh -huh. it's this guy right here okay right you know what i'm talking about right yeah, everybody sure. has this in their kitchen it lasts forever never goes bad it's delicious you want a tablespoon of that and anything you've got an incredible uh you know new flavor right you want to make bang bang shrimp mm -hmm. it's that plus mayo for example you know? see and like that's kind of you're kind of unlocking that for people trying to. yeah no i really i'm trying to because i know people still want delicious mm -hmm. and you know people are ordering out a lot and boy is that getting expensive right right it really <laughs> is and if so you just kind of grab that seven dollar bottle of sambal and, I think and that's more like three okay actually, yeah well that's good so you have some of those kind of everyday cheats in there that you For apply sure. to yeah. so there's nothing crazy in there that people would be you know it would be very foreign to them i did notice though there was a lot more global flavors in this book than in some of your previous ones that you know, are my, more italian flavor heavy it's true and thank you for noticing that i think people are really um ready to talk about it acknowledge the fact that we are absolutely a nation full of immigrants and we are using uh, ingredients from all the cuisines and um the average everyday american is doing that and so mm -hmm. i wanted to you know introduce them to give share a little bit of my knowledge about you know other cuisines and introduce them to some of the tricks like this sweet soy from mm -hmm. china mm -hmm. this sweet soy is used in so many dishes in chinese food mm -hmm. you know when we're eating chinese food and we're like oh my god how is it so why, good why does it taste it's so much that. better here it's that. than at home yeah. okay i love that and there's there are some pictures to really help people kind of step by step almost like um reads like a blog a little bit too yeah or thank uh, you, thank yeah you. so that thank that's very noticing. helpful yeah, like for sure kind of thing? exactly yeah cool. exactly look, right. look guys <laughs> step by step <laughs> Got it. I'm telling you, look, I dog-eared, like, this is my copy. I dog-eared oh, a bunch cool. of this. I tried a bunch. Thank you. The Peruvian chicken with this creamy green. That's the green sauce. That the was yeah. awesome. Thank you. And he said, he wrote in it, you're going to want to bookmark this page and go back to make this Thank sauce. You. Thank and you're you. totally right. I have a uh, fast foodie five. I asked oh all God. my is celebrity chefs. Oh, my God. Is it a quick chefs. fire? Kind of. you got a quick fire. You don't have to cook anything. Jen. You can, Jen has a quick just fire. Don't, what a surprise. Just, <laughs> Just don't take a bite of anything it's before you answer these questions. Fuchsia, Oreos, Shiba Inus, Blue. Let's and, see how close you are. And fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see how close. All right. What ingredient can't you live without? Parmigiano Reggiano. Ooh, I like that That's one. That's the one. What dish or ingredient can't you stand? Like you won't eat it. Ooh. I don't care who makes it for you. You won't There's eat it. There's something in Japanese cooking that's so disgusting. It's called cod milt. 
Ugh. It sounds gross. Ugh. What is the biggest mistake you think home cooks make? So home cooks and chefs who are pro chefs who cook at home also make the same mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't taste their food enough. So they rely on it coming out like per the recipe, per what they've imagined, and they don't taste till the end. And at the end, you can't really undo everything that you've done. So mm-hmm. taste as you go. What dish are you still trying to kind of figure out that you're, what, what vexes you? Like, so, I can never make or I always fail at. So yeah, there, it's interesting. There are a couple of lifelong culinary yeah. challenges. Mm-hmm. The risotto is without question one. The techniques for cooking risotto are constantly changing. It's so annoying. Just when you think you've perfected it. Yeah. Been, I've done it 10 years. I've got it. And they change it. It seems to always overcook or clump together. Risotto. I like that one. And uh, what would your last meal be? Last meal? Why do I have to think about my last meal? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you making... What a downer, wow. right? Wow. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, I, I guess I would love for my last meal to be one of my first meals, which was this massive egg fry up my grandmother used to do, she would go and like basically take every egg that was in the coop. She had a coop, she mm-hmm. was crazy like that. Mm-hmm. She would go into the garage, take the garlic she was curing, the peppers she harvested and grew, and the sausage she made, and put it all in a big pan, fry it up. Kind of like a, a tortilla de patata, like that kind of, like a Spanish Oh, uh, no, that's version? like an omelet, more yeah, like okay. an omelet. So this is not scrambled. They'll put it in, in like an inch of olive oil oh, with garlic okay. and potatoes, and the yolks will be super runny, the outside is crispy, and, and she would make that for me, you know, with like six eggs and sit there and watch me eat it. That would be be fun to recreate that. I oh, that sounds yeah. delicious. Um, so does some of this. So I think I'm going to have some of this too. Yes, Please. it's so good. Please. Yes. <laughs> that's it. You know, that's four questions. That was five questions. Favorite color. Uh, you what, know. What? So you didn't even guess my questions, right? I didn't. You're right. Yeah, not yeah. at all. All right. Thank you so much. That's it. All right. Great. Yep. Thank Easy you. peasy. I appreciate that.